Hey YouTube, welcome to video number six with our ammo can mini from MTM. Uh, this is, I think, one of the smallest ammo cans on the market that's an actual ammo can. Uh, and as you can see, it's about the size of our battery, not much bigger. So I'm thinking this is probably the smallest ammo can battery box on the market. And we did a couple of interesting things to this. I've added uh, three different uh, on switches. Uh, I'm going to show you later how to do that. There's a template that you can easily uh, you know, drill these in uh, perfectly and put them in here. Uh, I thought this was the best place. I'm leaving this spot open for some uh, future edition. Uh, but right now this looks really good. And I did it in like traffic light pattern. You know, from red, uh, um, amber, and green. Right? Red light, yellow light, green light, go. Let's do it. A um, couple things we're going to add to this. I've taken some aluminum uh, channel, which is a three-quarter inch. I cut a two inch piece to hold the battery in place. I cut another uh, four inch piece. These holes are three sixteenths inch uh, in diameter. And an easy way to do this is just to create a template using an old gift card or an old credit card that's been expired. And you could just line it up and uh, you know, do it that way so you know your holes are, are dead on. But we're going to add that. So, first thing, uh, oh, in, uh, in addition to that, we're going to add a light in front. Put that in there. And we're going to add a strobe light on the side. So we're going to add all this fun stuff on there. But the first thing we're going to do is flip it open and uh, take all of this stuff out. Take the wiring out, take the battery out, and uh, actually take our uh, USB and uh, cigarette lighter charger uh, out as well. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of black tape and cover up our red terminal. Actually, like that. There we go. Just so we don't drop a tool or anything on it and we end up, uh, you know, creating some sparks, which would not be fun. We're going to take our battery out. Oh, that's our Power Sonic. This is what I'm using. You could use a lithium battery if you want. Uh, next project, I will have uh, lithium. I'm going lithium. There's our loop sticker. I'm going to drop that in and we're going to put it against this wall and against this wall. We're going to drop down uh, this angle. Iron right here. Like that. Oh, it should almost a perfect fit actually. Okay, so we're going to drill those holes like that. When you take your other piece, uh, you're going to need to sand about an eighth of an inch off of this. So take some coarse sandpaper, put it on a flat surface, and sand it down. You know, part where you have the holes in there. So it'll fit on this side. And then carefully you're going to take that in and drop that down as well. Okay, now all I'm going to do is use a 6 inch extension, my uh, 3 16 inch bit, and I'm just going to drill four holes and pop rivet this thing in place. one okay I'm using a 3 16 inch aluminum 5 millimeter um, rivets uh, for this but uh, you don't have to use a pop rivet gun if you don't have one you know you could uh, use uh, stainless steel screws and uh, lock washers if you want to do it that way but there's a number of ways to do it uh, I just like this because of the convenience and uh, you know it's easy uh, and cheaper than actually using uh, stainless screws. So here we go. I'll just give it a little squeeze a little bit right about there, right like that. Come on out, push it back in, and here we go. Done. That's the first one. See it in there? It's in there solid. It's not going nowhere. We're going to do that for the rest of them. Okay, so uh, here's our pop rivets for our battery rails. Those are already in there. They're looking good. Right there, as you can see. 
Next thing to do now is install that front battery light. I'm thinking right around this area, right above these uh, uh, striations, you know, that are already molded. Uh, probably like right there. Yeah, I think that's a good spot. So what I want to do now is actually just test this light real good. I'm using an old battery from a fire alarm. It's no longer good for that, but it still has juice and it's good for testing stuff. Uh, white is black, uh, white is negative, black is positive, and as you can see, our light's working. So let's measure this real quick. Right about, yeah, you know, let's say right about there. Okay, this isn't an exact science, but we got nine millimeters. So I'm thinking about four and a half millimeters right here is where we're going to drill our big hole for the wiring. And once we do that, we can lay the light in there and uh, drill the holes for the screws. Here we go. Super duper. And we can just pop our light in like that. And we're going to center that. Drill the two holes, uh, put screws in there, and then we're ready with that. Okay, we got the holes drilled for that. It's not exactly easy finding screws for that. I think like maybe 6, 30 seconds. But uh, I've got these. So I'm going to use these. Uh, the, you need a relatively small uh, screw head so that they fit inside here. But uh, once I get them through, I'm just going to cut them with a Dremel uh, cut off. Uh, tool and uh, you know cut them uh, right to size and these should be okay so let's move to the side where I told you not to remove the sticker and we're gonna add the strobe let's see if we can open that up this fortunately comes with screws but they're long and we're still gonna have to you know sand those down cut those down somewhat there we go there's the screws here's this let's test this real quick We've got a red and a black and a yellow. And what the yellow is, it's a negative. And when you hit it with the negative, again, what that does is that changes the uh, the pulse. So let's see. Yeah, here we go. All right, yeah, that looks good. Perfect. Okay. So inside here, you know, you have this... Uh, this uh, washer, just take that off, take that off, a little one in here somewhere, here it is, Let's see if we can pop that off, there we go, and we're going to line this up right there, just like that, can you see that okay, so once we line that up, we're going to line it up with that ammo can mini line, scoot it over a little bit, and now we're going to mark it, and that's where we're going to drill. So we can put that on there perfectly. So right there. Right here. And right here. Perfect. Let's do that, why don't we? Put one here. That's not cool. Should put that on tighter, right? Alright, let's do one here. And we'll put the big one on. That would be this. There we go. in there like that. Oops. Super duper. Now that we have that, we can actually take this sticker off. And maybe I won't have to loosen these up. I could just pry it out. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. There we go. Yep, nice and easy. Come on. 
Come on. Oop. Uh, one more. That's a little bit more. And there it is. I'm going to trim out this flashing and we're ready to install that light. And uh, I just thought it would be cool if up here we put on these uh, positive and negative uh, lugs so that we can power other accessories. So that's going to go like right up there. So I'm going to do that real quick. Take these apart. These are just speaker terminals that we're going to be using. And in addition to that, I have this laying around somewhere. There will be a little indicator light that I'm going to drill a hole for, which I can't seem to find right now. It's around here somewhere, but we're going to drill a hole for that and pop that in there as well. Okay, so here we go. I just trimmed those off. We're going to get our wires out of the way. We're going to drop our battery in. There we go. So, and we're going to have the terminals toward the back of the ammo can. Finagle that around a little bit like that. Drop that in nice and snug. Alright, there we go. Batteries in nice and snug. Drop our wires back in here. Let's close it up. There we go. And the last thing I need to show you is to show you how I drilled these in this particular video. And what you're going to need is uh, two and a half centimeter. Uh, masking tape, you could use this blue tape, you could use regular masking tape, approximately one inch, so two and a half centimeter. Uh, put it down someplace uh, that you can readily peel this off, but at about 12 millimeters you're going to draw a line straight through. 12 or 13, 13 is fine. And you're going to draw a center mark right here. And then three centimeters out on one side you're going to draw another line and three centimeters out on the other side you're going to draw a line here okay and here's what you're going to do right in here in the center of this box there's a mold mark okay you can't see it because obviously I drilled through it now you're going to take your tape that you already cut you're going to peel it off this you're going to draw a line straight through that mold mark and you're going to set your tape right up against there like that. Put this down. You're, as soon as you're going to line up that mark, you're going to drill here and here and you're going to use a three quarter inch bit. And then once you do that, you'll have these perfectly centered. And these are uh, toggle switches. Um, they are waterproof or water resistant. You can see they have the little boots around them. So this will be resistant to water. And there you have it. Alright, uh, that's it. That's uh, six videos, uh, including this video, on how to get all this stuff in here. The next video, video number seven, I'm going to do, will be the very next video you'll see me do on uh, YouTube. And I'm actually going to wire all of this up and uh, get it to work. And you'll be able to do the same. And you'll have a very nice cool, compact, functioning ammo can battery box. Thanks for watching, guys.